Sunday, July 26. It has been a while since I did a video chat. Um, part of it is, I believe the last video I had indicated that we were gonna go to Quadra Island. And unfortunately that didn't work out. The ferry, their focus is on those that um, reside on the island and any visitors were kind of the last to get on and there was um, constantly lines and I didn't wanna be sitting in the ferry line all day. And so just respecting um, their process and just allowing the residents to have priority and maybe another time when we come back to BC that we will head over to Quadra Island and visit and do the tour and see what that island has to offer at another time. But I have been busy. We both have been busy, um, not necessarily with hiking or adventures, um, exploring uh, the island, but I am part of an organization called I Emergence. And we do kids culture camp uh, in the summer. However, with COVID, the summer camp has been canceled, but we made a decision to go online and do a virtual online camp in August. And so our, my team, we work together in creating a calendar of sorts. And I got a lot of the supplies while I was here and so I ended up doing packaging all the uh, camp packages so we created about 100 packages for our campers ages 12 uh, to 13 and then our young girls who we call the Oski Squaywalk girls um, range from 13 to 16 and so we created all of these packages cutting sorting, putting little craft kits together, and then a full uh, camp package. So that's what I've been doing for the last probably three days. And today I finally get to mail out uh, the majority of the packages. The remaining packages I will actually deliver on our way back to Regina. So in the Edmonton area, I'll be dropping off a big package, Saskatoon, and uh, in the Regina area, I'll be dropping off a few of our camp packages. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited that these packages came together and that these uh, campers will have something to do the uh, second week in August. So August 10th to the 14th is our online camp. It's called IE Kids Culture Camp. You can find us on Facebook as well as Instagram. So that's what we've kind of been doing. And I'm a bit tired because it was long, it was long days uh, cutting and uh, getting things together, but it was, it's worth it uh, for these uh, campers to experience, uh, to continue to experience our kids culture camp and that we can stay connected and engaged uh, during this time and we look forward to next year where we pray for Lee and can have camp uh, face to face and be able to hang out with all these little humans uh, once again. And I just thank all those that were involved in any way um, to put together these camp packages, those that are continue to pray for us and that, uh, yeah, and Canada Post, because I pray that these parcels, packages will make it safely to the homes of uh, our campers. <laughs>